In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create UAT environments inside of DDEV Live using the Jenkins CI CD tool. So on my local host running in DDEV local, I'm running just a very generic Drupal 8 site. You can see it's running 8.9.x and looks pretty basic. I'm going to go create a feature branch um, and name it after the ticket number that I'm working on. So we're going to say, uh, just kind of hit some numbers here. And now for the purposes of this demo, I could be creating a new module, I could be changing the themes color, just some kind of you know normal everyday work that you may be doing. I'm just going to create a commit. And then I'm going to push the repository up to my fork, or excuse me, the branch up to my fork. Over in Jenkins, I will show you how this, this site is configured a little bit. Um, I've got some credentials inside of Jenkins that basically links my Jenkins and my DDEV Live uh, API token. So you can see here that there's a global credential for that. And then I've also got a build job configured to basically build any branch that is feature dash star. So it's hooked up to my fork. Uh, it's enabled uh, GitHub SCM pulling. So I've got a webhook installed in the GitHub side. And then I've uh, bound my, my secret text credential to this token variable, as you can see here. As for what this command is doing, um, it's setting up the uh, homebrew, because DDEV Live is installed as homebrew in this case. I am configuring a site name. So I'm prefixing my, my site with the word staging. It'll have a branch name and then the, the Jenkins build job. Next thing I'm doing here is authenticating with the DDEV live client. So I'm passing that token variable from above here and passing default org into my organization called David. Then as I would normally, I'm creating a site. So I've got the basic same thing you would do on the command line, just uh, passing in some of the environmental variables for Jenkins. So creating a site based on that site name, here's my repository. Here's the Jenkins uh, passed in branch that is being built and then I'm also because this is a Drupal 8 site, I'm running Composer install. The next few lines here are basically for checking um, the site status. So is the site up and healthy? Is there a, a, is the site accessible on the preview URL is provided? And then the next few lines are examples of kind of the next steps I would suggest. So I could do a, a DDEV Live exec to the site name and pass in um, the drush command to install the site or I could push kind of a preceded database um, into my DDEV Live site name from Jenkins or from S3 or something like that. Uh, in the background, this build, let's leave this alone. This build has been going on since it got the webhook. And let's go check out the output. So as you can see, basic output here, here's my commit message. Um, there's some of the setup you're seeing for homebrew, so a bunch of path stuff. Uh, in the next line, here's my uh, branch and my site name uh, configured with my branch and my, my Jenkins build. DDEV live off to authenticate, and that's successful. And then here's my site build happening uh, in real time. So this is now waiting for the uh, site to come up and be live. And then once it is, I'll, I'll click the link and I'll show you what's happening on that side. So now my site's become available and it should just bring me to a generic Drupal install page because I haven't done anything there with it. I could then pass this URL to my client who could do uh, UAT on it and approve it for production deployment. I could potentially 
now run uh, the hat tests against my site or any any tests you require a, a live site for, so like visual regression, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and then as a final step, once you know kind of the approval's done, you can then either programmatically inside of Jenkins or um, command line, you could go in and do a DDEV live delete site. and delete that site. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative, and if you need more information, please visit our documentation site as seen on your screen right now. Thanks again.